Hello, it's Mr. Jewell from Pace with some short stories that show us what love looks like. Valentine's Day is around about now. Some people send secret cards or presents to people they really like. Some people show their love to people who are really special to them, their Valentine, by sending flowers or chocolates or something precious. My first Valentine was a girl in my class when I was in year six. I really liked her, but she left our school and moved 3,000 miles away to live in Canada, so I don't think she was that keen on me. The Bible talks a lot about love, but most of the time it's not talking about romance and dating, but rather about the way that all people should treat one another, and also about the way that God treats us. Someone called Paul once wrote a letter, not a love letter, but a letter to some people who were followers of Jesus. He wanted them to understand what love is really like, what it really means, and what it looks like in our families and friendships. His letter is in the Bible and it says, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonour others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres, love never fails. Wow, that's quite a list, isn't it? I counted 16 different ways that love is described, so many that we haven't got time to look at them all closely, so I'm going to choose just a few for us to think about together. Here we go. Love is patient. That means one way we show love towards someone is by being patient with them, waiting for them if they are late, not getting angry if they don't understand something straight away, doing things their way first before doing what we want. Love is kind. That means treating people in a way that makes them feel good. Maybe especially making sure we use kind words and actions in the way that we treat them. It does not envy which means celebrating someone else's success or good fortune rather than wishing it was happening to us instead. It does not boast, which means when we are successful, we don't shout about it to others in a way that makes them feel unimportant or left out or second best. It always protects. This reminds us that it's really important to watch out for, look after and take care of people and animals that are special to us. It may mean we sometimes have to warn them if they are making a bad choice. Always trust. This means we always try to see the best in other people. Where possible, we believe what they tell us and that they will do whatever they have promised to do always hopes. I think this reminds us that when we show love to someone, we do so because we want the very best for them, because it will make their life a little bit better. Always perseveres. And this encourages us not to give up on people, to keep being their friend if we possibly can, and not someone who's nice one day but nasty the next. Love keeps no record of wrongs. This means we can show love by not remembering past mistakes and bringing them up again, months, weeks or years after they first happened. This is one important way that God's love is shown in the Bible. It says that when someone says sorry to God for something they have done wrong, God forgives them. That's what the message of Easter is. Jesus' death on the cross makes it possible for the wrong things people do, say and think to be forgiven. We'll think about that more carefully in a few weeks' time as we get closer to Easter. The Bible describes how God thinks about all of this in some amazing ways. It says that when we ask for his forgiveness, God remembers no more the things we've done wrong. It also says God removes those things as far as the east is from the west. Go as far as you can in one direction, and then as far as you possibly can in the other direction, and that's the distance between God and those forgiven wrong things. And in another place it says that God takes the things that we ask him to forgive and throws them into the deepest parts of the sea, never to be seen or heard again. That's how much the Bible says God loves us. But back to our list of actions and attitudes that show us what love looks like. 
I wonder if we can show one or two of them in the way we treat the people around us, like our friends and family, or the people in our class. You know, colourful cards will soon end up in the recycling, delicious chocolates will soon get eaten, beautiful flowers will soon wither and droop. But the impact of the way we treat one another can last a really, really long time, maybe even a lifetime. One day when we're older, we may just look back on our days at school and remember that person who was patient with us or kind to us, who protected us, who showed love in lots of different ways to us. Let's pray together. Join with me if you'd like, or otherwise just sit quietly. Dear God, thank you for what we have heard today about ways we can show love to one another. Thank you too for the love that you have shown us in Jesus. Amen.